heart of your teams, the heart of Southern California. Valley Sports SoCal, the heart of the fan. It's a Friday night in Portland as opening week presented by Under Armour rolls on. Our story tonight happens in the Pacific Northwest where the Clippers look to find their rhythm. On Monday, Paul George and the Clippers put together one of their best defensive efforts in recent memory and route to their first one of the season against the Blazers. They'll need it again tonight as Damian Lillard looks to break free from his early season struggles. And you know that man is due. As we welcome you inside Moda Center alongside Jim Jackson, I'm Brian Seaman. It is great to have you with us. Well, often times early in the season few teams get it right on both sides of the basketball it's the team that finds their defense first that finds ways to win that was exactly the case on Monday when the Clippers hosted the Blazers and forced 30 turnovers well the margin of error on the offensive end means that the defense has to be on point now coming into this game we forced 30 turnovers probably not but the body language, the energy, the deflections, the ability now to translate that over to 29 points off of those turnovers is what you look for from a coach. Because the energy, talk on the back line, talk early and often, be active early and often, more importantly, have more energy on the defensive end. That can propel you, especially with a team like Portland that came off a big victory for a road win for the Clippers. But when you think of Blazers basketball, clearly you're thinking of Damian Lillard, yeah. the game winners, the clutch shots, you name it, he's done it. He steals all the headlines. Lines. But don't forget his running mate, C.J. McCollum, is one of the best shooters in the NBA. And it's been C.J. that has carried the Blazers to victory in their two wins this year. Well, sometimes it's not bad being Robin. And this Robin right here, four games right now, over 20 points, 25 last game against the Grizzlies, just goes about his business. Always been a tough guard for the Clippers. For whatever reason it is, the matchup just hasn't seemed to be there to kind of knock him off of his rhythm. And perfect compliment, actually, to Damon Lillard because the ability for him to stretch the court, to also handle the basketball, and make plays is what makes this backcourt such a dynamic combination. The task at hand is tough right now with both. It's going to be tough for Damian Lillard. You can see his numbers on the season. They're not what we're used to. He is ripe for a huge one. But listen, we all know in Portland that this too shall pass, meaning it'll stop raining at some point. <laughs> at some point, Damian, Damian Lillard is going to stop shooting the ball, not to the efficiency that we're used to. We just don't want it to be this evening. But we know that because of the work that he's put in and the confidence that he's had, he's going to be able to shoot the ball. But one thing he's not allowing, not shooting the ball well to do, is take away from his overall game. Now coming up next, we'll talk about the passing for the Clippers. It has been on point. Jim Jackson will break it all down on the other side after this. Basketball is brought to you by CarMax, official used car retailer of the LA Clippers. By Honey, score great deals when shopping online. Download it for free today at joinhoney.com. And by Hyundai, get the new Hyundai you've always wanted. It's your journey. Own it. See your SoCal Hyundai dealer today. Valentine's Day still several months off, but that doesn't stop the Clippers from sharing the love. It's time now for our Play Sense presented by Frontier Communications. The Clipper team is at its best when the ball is moving. Eric Bledsoe right here on the drive. They always say don't get caught in the air, but on this particular play, it works out because the pass out to Reggie over to PG in the corner, splash three-pointer, sharing the balls, attracting the defense. Even in transition, it's the same thing. These are the plays that you have to take advantage of. Paul George attracts two defense. Defenders make the simple and right play. Reggie Jackson Cuzzo able to get inside. Now, this is the epitome of ball movement. Hardenstein right here, hands off to Luke Kennard, but watch where the play ends up. He gets it right back, makes a quick decision. Two players are forced to come up. Terrence Mann with the basket. 44 field goals, 37 assists against Portland on Monday. Well, the Clips got their first win over the Blazers and are hoping that history repeats itself as the Clippers ready themselves for battle in the Pacific Northwest. It's Clippers, Blazers, coming up next.